Tucker Carlson and Judge Janine dropping a huge Epstein bombshell. No doubt the elite are terrified. Now, before I get into that, if you're new here, go ahead and tap the red subscribe button down below and then hit the notification bell so you are the first to know when news breaks. And if you're an existing subscriber, double check your subscription and there you have notifications enabled because I don't want you to miss out on the news and opinion that you have requested. Now, let's jump right into this. Gateway Pundits Jim Hoff reports that Judge Jeanine Pirro went on with Tucker Carlson this week to discuss the ongoing Jeffrey Epstein scandal. They write here that Epstein, the highest profile prisoner in the U.S. prison system, was found dead in his New York City prison cell just in August. Now, Tucker Carlson dropped the bomb during the episode saying, quote, there's already hints that there are Epstein blackmail tapes. Wow. Watch this. It's ominous. And I, I, oh, I'd like yeah. to know, is this posturing or do you think it's possibly true that hundreds of people could be implicated? Oh, it Exactly true. Let me tell you, uh, Tucker, the stage is set. I mean, this is a drama unlike anything you've seen. Here's the bottom line. Just as you said, Virginia Roberts, Jiffra now, had sued uh, Ghislaine Maxwell for, for, I think at the time it was for some kind of libel or slander. That lawsuit was resolved. We don't know how it worked out or what the end game was there, but there are thousands of documents that the Second Circuit Court of Appeals has said, hey, wait a minute, these documents shouldn't be sealed, and they ordered a district court judge, Loretta Presca, who is a hoot, uh, to, to make sure that these documents are unsealed because they're saying, look, the public has a right to know. The press and the print media play a very important part in notifying the public of what's going on. On the other side, you've got people who are chewing their nails, ready to jump off a bridge because we're talking about 10,000 documents, loads of investigative forms, and people whose names are in there, not just in that black book, but in the documents. Some of them will be implicated, and Loretta Preska, the judge, said, I will give you a chance to come in and keep your name out of things. I'll give you a chance to make an argument. But the rest of you, if your name's just in there, it's going to come out. And that's what's going on. You've got the forces of darkness and the forces of good and light who want to know all the people's names. Now, what's really interesting about this is that some time ago we did a report. It was during the last election, and it was a, there was a leak from Anonymous. They said that there was actually that there was actually a videotape of Bill Clinton engaged in in an act with a minor. Now we reported on that fact, we on that claim that was made by Anonymous, and now what we're seeing here seems to corroborate exactly that, that there are blackmail tapes, not just the, the black book, but what's contained within these documents that she's talking about. So while people have criticized me for, for airing that report some years ago, uh, it's, all, it's all coming together now. And it's quite interesting. There's about another minute and 26 seconds. Let's see where this goes. And for some reason, even the Second Circuit said this. They said, why is this stuff being sealed? It's like everything else that happened with Jeffrey Epstein, from Alex Acosta being the United States yes. attorney, cooking up a deal down there that was a deal of a lifetime for a perverted serial pedophile. So if the speculation is true and Epstein's real business was running, one of his businesses was running an elaborate blackmail scheme against the powerful then there are likely to be tapes and implicating documents. And there's already been hints that there are tapes. Well, yeah, this is exactly what we've been saying. We said this two years ago. Blackmail tapes. And it was said when, when we made that report years ago that it was this was coming from a police officer who was on the scene in the Palm Beach compound and actually had the tape, saw the tape of Bill Clinton in action with an underage girl. And now it's coming out on Tucker Carlson tonight in 2019. Unbelievable that there's potentially damning Epstein blackmail tapes. 
There's more videotapes. The, the, look, I mean, you've got you've got Prince Andrew at, at his home with young girls coming out and Prince Andrew, you know, saying goodbye to them. I think you have it right there on tape. That's, I think, Virginia uh, uh, Roberts or, or uh, I think it is. But what you also have are individuals who are alleged to be procurers, people who were housekeepers. There are all kinds of people who will be named in this. And uh, as you look at the video, look at all the young girls who are going in and out of there. And I don't know if that's the one with Prince Andrew, but I, I, I don't think I see him there. But anyway, people on every side of the globe are concerned, from Israel to the UK uh, to the United States. And there he is, Prince Andrew. And uh, they're all very upset. And of course, Jeffrey's dead. They thought it, that was going to be the end of it. Yeah. Not a chance. It'll it's be. Not yeah. So all the talk about these elite rings of pedophiles, all the talk, it's now coming out. Epstein was at the center of, of it all. And he was procuring underage girls for the elite of the world. And they called everyone crazy. They said it was all a conspiracy. And here you have it. The evidence is clear. In fact, now we even have questions about how he died. They write here that unfortunately, though, if the FBI recovered these tapes then perhaps they're gone. They're probably in the warehouse, they're right here. They're in the warehouse right between Obama's birth certificate, college records, and passport info, or they're in Hillary's White House office library, and she claims she didn't know how they got there, right? So, wow, this is pretty damning. More information coming out about Epstein and the existence of blackmail tapes being discussed right here on Fox News, Tucker Carlson. And they called us crazy years ago. Unreal. Comment below. We'll see you at the next report. For the Next News Network, I'm Gary Franchi. Now, before you go, as you're watching this, U.S. corporate insiders are panicking, but they call it financial prepping. Make no mistake, it is controlled panic. Now, reports indicate that $600 million in stocks sold each day in August, mirroring what happened before the 2008 crash. Insider selling his top $10 billion for five months straight. Meanwhile, According to the World Gold Council, demand is at a three-year high, and investors seeking shelter for the stocks they cashed in are piling into precious metals, which have risen 32% since August of last year. Now, Noble Gold will help you ride out this latest storm with precious metals, gold and silver, as an IRA or 401k rollover that you will keep that will keep you safe, as they've always done. So act fast. Call Noble Gold right now, 877-646-5. 347. Ask them to help you move your money to safety, or you can tap the link below and be contacted and receive the free gold and silver investment guide. So call that number 877-646-5347 or hit the link below to get the free guide. We'll see you at the next report. For the Next News Network, I'm Gary Franchi. Thank you for watching that report. If you want more, subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Next News Network logo right here. You can also watch our latest news reports by clicking here. Or you can get the latest breaking news by clicking here. Or the most viral news on the channel, the news that Hillary and Obama hate, right here.